To install the third-party audio files like the OpenTX Amber Sound Pack, you'll first need to install a program on your computer called 7-Zip. So from your web browser, just type in 7-Zip to the search bar. Then go to the download page. At the top, you'll see the download for the 64-bit windows. You'll need to download whichever version is appropriate for your system. Once the 7-Zip installer is downloading, uh, downloaded, you can open it. And install it. Next, you'll need to download the OpenTX Amber Sound Pack. So again, from the search box, type in OpenTX Amber Sound Pack. You'll be able to find it from the OpenTX University. You click the Great Sound Pack link. Then you click this other additional download link and then the amber22.rar download link. You'll see the amber22.rar file downloading. If you do not see the file appear on the top right here, you can find it by going to your file explorer, going into downloads, and you should see the amber22.rar file. You can right click and go to 7-zip and choose extract to amber22 or you can double click it and choose more apps and choose look for another app then go to 7-zip and 7-zfm, which is the file manager, to open it. Once you have the sounds, inside will be the EN folder. Additionally, where you unzipped it to the Amber 22, it will have the same structure, sounds, and then EN folder. I'll use the Windows key and right button to arrange my window. And now I'll plug in the radio in bootloader mode. So I hold the button down for the navigation wheel and press the on button. It will say bootloader. And then I connect by the USB cable. You should see USB connected on the radio system. And you'll have two windows pop up on your screen. One of the windows will have bitmaps and fonts. You can ignore this drive. You never need to copy anything to the drive with the fonts folder. So I'll just close it. On the other USB drive that has the audio, bitmaps, and models folder, I will go into the audio folder and then arrange my window to the left using the Windows key and then I'll copy all of these WAV files except for the system folder by dragging them over to the audio folder. You don't want to put them in the EN folder. The WAV files must be in the audio root folder.
Once the audio files have been copied to the audio folder, you can eject the drive so that they all write correctly. And now you can set the special track functions to play track for the WAV files. To do that, I'll disconnect the system. I'll power it up normally. Welcome to Ethos. Switch warning. I'll go to my special functions area and add a new special function for play track. And from file, you can select any one of the WAV files which you've copied to the system.